Let's talk about nuisance calls. We've all received nuisance calls we don't want, selling us stuff and telling us we've been involved in an accident that wasn't our fault. As if! Any accidents I've been involved in are always my fault. What can I say? I just love operating heavy machinery while medicated. Do you know how many nuisance calls and texts are received in the UK every day? Six million. And nuisance calls are a particularly big deal for the UK. In fact, we're a prime target for telephone scammers. 25 million international calls were blocked one year for one type of scam, more than any other country in the G20. Nice that they were still good at something. Another gold for Team GB? I'm Canadian. I forgot. But just how do call centres get hold of our numbers in the first place? I wonder if I've made a little film about it. Let's find out. Hi, I'm here with Jason Hart. What do you do, Jason? Hi, Joe. I'm a cybersecurity expert. I specialise in... Hang on in... one second. He's a cybersecurity expert. We shouldn't be here. This is totally the wrong location. We've got to be matrixy, cybersecurity, computers. Does anyone know anyone who's got loads of computers with dodgy hard drives that we can use? Oh, yes, this is so much better. So nice of Mary Berry to donate the computers. And you look amazing. Feeling good? No. I don't care. I'm here with Jason Hart, who is an expert in getting other people's phone numbers. That's right. Actually, Joe, I'm a cyber security expert. I'm one of the good guys. And I'm a bad boy. And how secure is password123 as a password? Um, very insecure. Um, the, the best... Hang on, the password will make me just as a person. The right. password is, uh, you know... You're it... not saying I'm insecure? I... No comment. So how do people get hold of our numbers? One of the key ways and where data is traded is on the dark web. So what is the dark web? The dark web is a, a layer of data hidden beneath the surface of the internet. So it's like James Corden's aggression. And how do they find that data. There's hackers out there and bad guys harvesting what we call credentials. Every day in the press we see, you know, companies have been compromised. Right. In a lot of cases, businesses don't even know they're compromised and their customer data is actually trading. If you've registered with a company or website, let's say for argument, a made-up one called, oh, I don't know, Bookface, and that company gets hacked, say, oh, I don't know, in 2018, then that hacker could have access to all the details you've given them. It's estimated that 620 million account details from legitimate websites are up for sale on the dark web. It's like a cardo for scammers. In terms of the phone numbers that we're getting nuisance calls on, mm. they are linked to our data on the dark web. Yeah, so on the dark web, what the hackers are actually doing now, they're, they're kind of creating what we call sucker lists. A sucker list is a list of people who have been previously scammed and as such are likely to fall for a scam again. So they are a premium resource for scammers. The list includes all sorts of personal details and thousands are traded online every day. Sucker list to my community means something a bit different. Why, really? Mm. So this is big business. But the really horrible thing here, Joe, is they're actually scamming a particular demographic. So they're targeting, you know, elderly people or, you know, people who are not too tech savvy uh, and literally scaring them into giving them money. Mm. This sounds really awful and unethical. So this is how it works. Sucker lists are traded on the dark web and some unscrupulous call centres or scammers are able to buy them up and use them, potentially resulting in millions of unwanted calls a day. They can't get through to my nana. She's hammering the retail button to this morning, trying to speak to Holly to tell her to cover up. Catherine, what's being done about this? While the government have been trying to tackle nuisance calls for years, the Information Commissioner's Office issued a fine of £500,000 to a company called well, it's C R D N N. I don't know how to say it. It's Criden. 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 It's a lovely name. This company, Criden, or however you say it, made 1.6 million calls a day about debt management, boiler sales, and window scrappage. I know, my three favourite things all under one roof. Is it Christmas already? <laughs> Catherine, what's your tactic for nuisance calls? Well, I ask my parents to text me. <laughs> my phone hasn't made a noise in eight years. Wow. I've made phone calls, outgoing, Right. but my phone makes no noise, I answer no calls. If you want to speak to me on the phone, you make an appointment with me. OK, I'll remember that next time. View the following, please. 
They waste our time, some of them steal our money, and they target the most vulnerable. Enough is enough. It's time to take on the nuisance callers with the very people they target. Ring, ring! I gathered together a group of people whose lives have been ruined from nuisance callers. Don't let their high fives fool you, they're all desperately miserable. But today, that's going to change. This is it, here we go, guys. All righty. Today, we are taking on nuisance callers. So we're going to waste the time of the people who waste our time. Oh, and yes. to help us out, I've got somebody who's wasted more of other people's time than anyone I know. It's Mark Silcox. Right, brother. What do you think of nuisance callers? They're all right. Someone to talk to. It's not quite the vibe we're after. OK, they are a scum. It's more like it. So what do we think of nuisance callers? Absolute pain in the proverbial. Annoying and sometimes scary. Time wasters. They always call me when I'm having dinner. <laughs> Bunch of Think about these nuisance callers. They try and call 800 people a day. All they need is 1% of those people to go for the scam and it makes it worth their while. So what we're going to do today is good public service work by keeping them on the phone so they can't ring vulnerable people. So, are we ready to turn the tables on the time wasters? Let's have yes. it. Yes, let's have yes. it. Yes, yes. Now let's put this unbearably masculine energy to good use. We're going to call up some nuisance callers to give them a taste of their own medicine. But first, a lesson. OK, my students, let's go through the tips. This one's a good one. The poo break. Tell the caller on the phone that you need to pop to the loo and then play toilet noises. These sorts of noises. Or... Ah! Ah! Oh. What sort of sound, Mark? Ah! Oh. This is your life. Wait for the caller to talk. When they start talking, talk over them. Tell them your life story. The questionnaire. Turn the questions back on them. Start normal, end up weird. Fantastic tip, this. Ask if they are your grandchild. Ask multiple times and then demand a DNA test. With my students gemmed up on nuisance knowledge, it's time to put their new skills to work. I got them to call back some numbers that had recently nuisance called them. Oh, hi there. I've picked up a missed call. Um, I don't know what it was about. Can you explain? Uh, yeah, of course I can. Okay. So do you have a computer right now? Yes, I have a computer, yes. I'd well, love to know what the time is in uh, Munich at the moment, do you? In Munich, um... Uh... Um, I'm really not, um, mm. what is this, so crash in the right no. way? We do understand. So, mm -hmm. so what's this about? Because I had a missed call from you. Okay. Can I just tell you something? Yeah, please go ahead. Well, I was born in London. Okay. Tell me, do you know what, you know what the, uh, the atomic number of lead is by any chance? The, I, uh, I, I, I... And my dad, he used to cut logs. You still there? Yeah. My dad, my dad, where was I? Hang on. I need to go and get something, so I'm just going to put you on hold briefly. Wait, Brenda. Are you my, are you my, are you my grandchild? This is my grandchild, isn't it? What exactly is this about? Oh, my <laughs> Tommy, I think there's a, there's a man on the phone. I'm just telling him all about when I used to be cold. Is that Matthew? That's Matthew, isn't it? Is that Matthew? Are you Matthew? Is this Matthew? What's your name? What's your name? Are you Matthew? How do you know if a tortoise has died at all? Um, I, I mean, presumably if you don't see any signs of life from it. Oh, what lovely people. I cannot tell you how many of them are now knitting me jumpers. But wasting the time of these nuisance callers is just one option. You can also register you or your relatives with the telephone preference service or ask your phone provider for a blocking device. We've gone one step further. Whenever you're asked for your phone number by a company and you don't think it's absolutely necessary, just give them 
this one, wherever it is on the screen. If your details are sold on a sucker list, then when nuisance callers ring that number, they'll hear this message. Oh, hi, it's me, Jay Lysa. If you come through to this number, it's because I gave the viewers of my show a phone number to give to nuisance callers so they didn't have to deal with them. Hope you enjoy this brush off, you time-wasting bunch of Also, Mum and Dad, that's my new number. Call me on there. Mum, Dad, call me on my actual number, please. Give me a ring, thank you.